This video shows you how to install Think or Swim natively on Apple M1 computers. TD Ameritrade has not put out a native Apple Silicon version of Think or Swim for Apple's M1 and M2 computers, so their Mac OS kit runs through Rosetta 2. Performance on Rosetta 2 may be poor for you if you run a complex Think or Swim environment and you may be looking for better performance. Thinkorswim is Java-based, and the Mac OS kit ships with a private version of Intel x86 Java, and you can't get it to use the Apple Silicon Java by just installing it. Instead, you can download the Java-only version of Think or Swim from TD Ameritrade to run with Apple Silicon Java to get native performance. There are four steps involved in setting up Thinkorswim to run natively on Apple Silicon. The links will be listed below the video. The first step is to download and install Azul Java 11 LTS Mac OS ARM 64-bit V8. So we go to the Azul Java web page. Uh, there's a link in the comments below. And we get this page. Uh, this page is a little bit different from the previous video in that it has this menu in front for Zulu, Core, and Prime. Um, we're going to, well, just a note, the Prime basically is, has optimized Java. And I looked into it and um, it's only available for Linux. So it doesn't affect us for Mac OS. But Hopefully they'll put the optimizations back into the Mac OS version eventually. So we click on download now and it takes us to the page to download Java. Um, there have been a decent number of people that just downloaded the latest version Java 18 and that doesn't work. Um, Thinkorswim requires Java 11 so let's scroll down to Java 11 and uh, Java 11 LTS. We will look for Mac OS and this is the Mac OS Intel kit and this is the Mac OS ARM kit which is the one we want. So we'll click on the DMG and it's going to download. click on that and double click the package and it installs So we're good to go. The second step is to download and unpack the Think or Swim Java installation. So go to the Think or Swim download page, um, and the link is in the description section. And scroll down to the section at the bottom titled All Other Users. So we'll just go down All Other Users and then click on the Install Thinkorswim button. And it downloads. And we'll click on it. And here's the zip file that it downloaded and it unpacked it into the Thinkorswim directory. And if we take a quick peek in there, We'll see some files. Um, it will unpack it in your download area by default. Uh, so um, tilde slash downloads is the location of the think or swim directory. This tutorial basically assumes that you'll put it in download, but you can of course move it to someplace else if you prefer. The 
The third step is to manually install Thinkorswim. So open the terminal window. Um, I'll show it this way. Go to Applications, then Utilities, and then Terminal. And CD downloads slash think or swim. We'll take a quick look at what's in there. Uh, if you can't do this, um, you might need to change the directory permissions on the think or swim directory. Um, you would go to the downloads folder and type chmod777 thinkorswim. Um, I haven't seen that problem in a while, but if you run into the problem where you can't um, go or look at uh, the thinkorswim directory, just drop me a line. So enter the command sudo java minus jar launcher.jar and enter the password. First time it runs it uh, just dies very quickly. Run it the second time and it'll bring up this thinkorswim display box and then die. Run it the third time and it will bring up this box and sit for a while and then die. And we'll run it the fourth time. And there we have the login window. So you can now enter your username and password and log in. Oh, well, that makes sense. The fourth step is your daily run. So um, the first startup is you just enter that command again and you enter your password. It didn't require my password because if you run the command a certain time after you've already entered a password, it doesn't ask you again. And then you enter your username and password and you're good to go. So. Um, the way you run it each day is you bring up a terminal window, you type in the command, enter your password, and it runs. Uh, many have asked for an icon. Um, I've looked into doing that. I have not found a way to do that, although I think one or two other people have found a way to do that. Um, I had expected Ameritrade to have a solution for this by now because this is it's been running this way for quite some time, but um, if they don't do it in another couple months, I'll look into a way of, of doing a startup icon. Uh, in general, if you have problems, uh, you can just post a comment down below and I'll try to address it in a timely manner.